Hey, hey young pers! I'm Douglas, I'm 16 and I'm from St. Paul's College. I'm Zachary, I'm 13 and I'm from South Island School. I'm Eugenia and I'm 14 and I'm from Dallas and Girls School. And we're on the Crystal, Crystal bus. bus! Now talk about wh why I'm here. Genuinely because I love free food. Um, I want to hop on famished and hop off full. I'm here because I see this bus go past my bus stop every single day and I've never known what it was. So I'm in, so I'm quite intrigued. And I'm here to enjoy some fine dining, well according to Google searches. It's been one hour and we just hopped off the bus. For me, I will say that the Crystal Bus, well, there are a few things we can polish on. Um, the first thing is, I don't really like the bumpiness of the ride because it kind of upsets my stomach, to be honest. I'm not used to eating, you know, elegantly and, and looking at the scenery and like moving like back and forth all at the same time, so. Work on that. Suspension, suspension. And so the food was okay, but I think that there's like a lot of places in Hong Kong where you can get the same dim sum, like the turnip cake and the siu mai for like like half a price. But the, um, the seats were very comfortable and the atmosphere was very relaxed. I me. think it's a bit expensive though. You can go and get the rickshaw buses which are only 50 and bring your own food. They charge, I, I think around over 300. And you can get much better for that price. Uh, I feel like the crystals were just a gimmick so that they can earn more money out of it as well. But I think if you have the chance, you can, there's other alternatives in which you can even hop on and off the bus and have a whole day out of it instead of this, just for two to three hours. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe to Young Post. See you next time. Bye! Bye.